Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Nice Hero Republic 2. Okay. We finished talking to uh, pretty much all the everyone aboard the ship. So now if we go to the galaxy, well it's the nav computer pretty much. On board the ship. We can pick which planet we want to go to. We can go to Dantooine, we can go to Telos, we can go to Paragus even. Actually I don't think he can. Let me see what happens. It'll say, yeah, warning location accessible, yeah. Uh, we don't want to go to Telos. We want to go to... Nar Shadda. That's the planet that I'm going to go to first. So, PUNCH IT! Off we go into hyperspace. Well, here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta. Swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost it's in. It's kind of funny. <laughs> she's, to get lost. she's not in any clothing still. <laughs> while, oh, I'll fix that. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we know what Nal Hutta is, but... It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. <laughs> It's the central breeding grounds of the huts. Nar Shadda orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not going to go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. So there's a lot of like, soldiers on Nar Shadda. Yeah, some came looking for work running freight and cargo. Still, there's only so many ships to go around and so many workers. So others lend their weapons to the huts in the exchange. It's become a prime base for raider recruitment across the galaxy. Mm -mm -mm. How do we find a Jedi there? It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch where down people go to disappear. Sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. Exactly. Sounds like you've been here before. Anyone flying the star lanes has docked on Nar Shadda at least once. I wouldn't want to live there. And I doubt anyone does by choice. <laughs> uh, it's a refugee sector. Not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait, no, I just we're gonna to touch that. down. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, let's do it. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. Famous last words. So we get our cinematic of our arriving on the planet. Just like the original. Cool. This is actually gonna be a planet in the... Uh, the MMO coming up with Bioware's makings. Pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Is it Nar Shadda? No, it's Nal Hutta. I'm not sure if they have announced Nar Shadda yet. I forget. I think I would know these things. But I know for sure Nal Hutta is a planet that they've announced. So, there you go. Can enter a fury. Hmm. Come on, I want to get off my ship already. Hmm. <laughs> What's this now? Perhaps you have heard that the Jedi comes to Nar Shaddaa. While he walks upon the smuggler's moon, he is not to be harmed. You may watch him, observe his movements, but nothing more. Why must we watch? We've hunted them so long. Now we must wait? You must, because one Jedi attracts others. It is the way of things. <laughs> Goda's head is filled with madness. Zug family hunt the galaxy. Look for Jedi. Jedi finally comes here and we can no longer hunt? There is no sense to it. 
You wish to live. You should respect Godo's wishes. Handsome Jedi has run for years. He will not stay on the moon forever. Let's let the Zugs defy Godo, and after I have collected their bounties, I'll keep their heads as trophies. You best leave threats and spoken, Hanhar. You were carried too far from worlds of trees, maybe too far. I hear you not even collect life debt from a little red maned human female. She make you look she make you fool of you twice. She had crossed Zugs, she would be very dead now. <laughs> Go to her now, I'll carve a bloody swath through your entire family, Zug, I swear to you. Swatch request. If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. It would be unwise to get violence here. Goto's order was clear. We are not to harm the handsome Jedi while he walks on Narshida. Unless we are attacked first, we are permitted to defend ourselves. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. This Jedi is different. Goto told us to leave the Jedi alone, it is true. But he said nothing of the Jedi's companions. Dun dun dun! Alright, so we got bounty hunters hunting us. Makes sense, I guess. Sith probably hired them, right? Said they've been hunting us for like years. <laughs> probably not the individual Jedi that we are, just Jedi's in general. They've been hunting for years. That's my guess, anyways. Pretty sure that's what they meant. Alright, let's go. Yeah, they were on Godo's ship, so it's not like they were anywhere on the planet. Ship's probably orbiting Narshada or something like that. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Well, word of warning, watch where you step. I didn't touch anything. You'll fall for hours. How are we going to be a okay this landing huh? Sure. Most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed. Or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be alright. I think. <laughs> Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. <laughs> the refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? <laughs> it does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. And just being here should be enough. People in the refugee sector don't tend to ask too many questions. We should be safe enough. Yeah, we'll get some there equipment. There should be a central trading hub up ahead. Their stock's probably not the best, but they may have some things worthwhile. Cool. About the bounty on Jedi. Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone. Which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. This bounty poses a threat to him. We do not need two beasts at our back when the Sith are enough. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will, servant of Atris. It makes no difference. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. All right. Finding a Jedi or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. 
All right, uh, let's see where it takes us. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! <laughs> Uh-oh. What's with you? Let that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Mm. <laughs> I still don't touch hold me, I can land. Yeah? Well, this is the first I've heard of it. Huts don't do business down there. This is exchange territory. Time to change so should do. I got a ship that's supposed to dock on this pad any hour now. What am I gonna do? Divert it to another landing pad? Makes sense to me. Alright, who do we want? I'm gonna take the handmaiden. Cause she's cool. Maybe we should take the droid. Maybe Atten. Uh, mm, it's either gonna be the droid or Atten. Let's go with Atten. For now. There. Yes. Go beans. Oh, we got dark side points. I forget what for. Maybe because we said we were dealing with the huts. I forget. Anyways, and Maiden's gonna need some clothing <laughs> and some stuff. You know, I'm just gonna put some clothing on her for now, and uh, I'll put stuff on her later. Wow, she can like wear anything. put that on her for now. And I'll, uh, cool, huh? I'll suit her up later. Well, maybe I should at least level her up so that you guys can see what I'm gonna do. Oops. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Level up. Skills. Uh, yeah, she doesn't get very many skills. Feats. She get a lot of feats, though. No, I don't want her to get rapid shot. Rapid shot blows. Well, it doesn't blow. I just I don't like it. Oh, she has holy smokes. She has toughness. She has everything. Okay, maybe I should uh, think of first before I do this. Gearhead improved gearhead. Wait, what's this one? Conditioning. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. I want to add it. Level up. How many times do I have to do this? Constitution me out makes sense to me. Aha! I want her to take this one now. Prove to weapon fighting. Yeah, she's a soldier, and soldiers get tons of feats. So. No, I don't want rapid shot. I should take flurry. That's what I'm gonna take. Didn't even see that there. Oh come on. <laughs> All right, one more time. Maybe it'll let me take the extra flurry. All right. Finally. Yeah, I'll give her weapons and crap later. Watch. We're probably gonna get. You know what? No, I gotta. Unfortunately, because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get into a fight soon. I'll just throw something on her. Oops, wrong one. Handmaiden staff. Sure. Strength enhancer. So I'm just throwing crap on her. As you can see, she's pretty much a tank. Yeah, I'll put this one on. Slated gloves. Sure, why not? Alright, let's roll. We're not too far, human. We warn you what would happen, but your kind does not listen. Brick Lakes, maybe you not wander so far. No, look. You can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. No, your place, human. Your place is there, not here. Another human? What do you look at? 
Can I just... Oh, that... Is that a transition? I think it is. A couple of cowards without the stomach for a real fight. One human, not an amusing fight. More than one human. A little better. Spill more blood. See? Told ya! This is exactly why I put uh, weapons on her. I guess I... Alright. I don't have any weapons either. Well, you know what? We'll just take him out with our bare hands. How badass is that? Nice. You just wasted those guys. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. And let them hurt you. Why were they hurting you? Or hunting? Well, they work for the exchange for a quarren named Viscus. He's looking to step up in the exchange. The only language the exchange respects is money. So Viscus is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Narshada as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. What do you mean? The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. Where can I find Viscus? <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. <sighs> you better head out before you run into any more trouble. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Let's say points. Alright, credits. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here and equip myself better. So, I'll be back next time, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. I'll see you next time. Bye.